Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, fellas. Just pop out and get to a, a four man, four and one out, four and one out. Yeah, yeah, the five's coming to set the ball screen. So inside the huddle, it's like almost everyone's a coach. You know, I could throw the clipboard to West. But I want the three to get out. I could throw the clipboard to Anthony Thomas. Four men come back screen right here for the trade ball. Or to one of our players. Yeah, yeah we should try it. And everyone's out there just trying to you know, lock in and listen to what everyone's trying to do. After seeing that, we're seeing how that guy roll. Now we will put the person that we want to take that shot. And once coach helped us out today with those situational games, you kind of start to really see, get the feel of. Crash! Drag, yep, two, Tigo! How fast the game can go and how you gotta be right at certain points to, you know, get your point across on what we're trying to do. Oh, oh, then, another but, way with the five or the three man is helping, yeah. that's that kick out. Last night at dinner, I kind of realized, man, this is a special week so far, you know, to really watch us get better each day this week to the point that our confidence level is rising and we just really feeling like everything, the pieces are starting to come together. We're very confident in what we're knowing, what we're about to try to do on Monday now. Family, one, two, three. Family. Family. For the first time ever, a Boise State alumni team competing in TBT, also known as the basketball tournament. TBT is a 64-team, $1 million winner-take-all tournament featuring alumni from schools all over the country. Former Broncos like Derek Marks, Ryan Watkins, and Alex Hobbs, and the rest of the Once a Bronco team facing off with Team Challenge ALS this afternoon. We head to the pit in Albuquerque, familiar location for Bronco veterans, location of this regional. Pick things up in the first quarter. Once a Bronco gets off to a great start, Thomas Bro play three atop the key eye hole, 15-7. Boise State off to a great start. Next possession. Bro play hotter than fish grease. He started out four for four from distance to open things up. Finishes with 14. Second quarter we go. Alex Hobbs, the drive, count the basket, and the foul. He had 11 today. One of four Broncos in double figures. Challenge ALS would take a 43-41 lead into halftime. Former Fresno State guard Marvell Harris on the drive there gets it to go. To the third we go. Kevin Allen. Getting it down low in the paint. Two of his team high 20 points. Broncos down by four. To the fourth we go. Harris would help team challenge ALS pull away the layup on the drive. He had a game high 28 this afternoon. Once the Broncos stay at TBT, short lived. Still fun to see the fellas reunite for the week here in Boise. Over to the gridiron we go. Boise State junior running back George Halani named to the Maxwell Award watch list earlier today. The award given annually to the best player in college football. Halani has battled injuries each of the last two seasons for the Broncos. He appeared in nine games last fall, rushing for a team high 569 yards in one touchdown last season. Finished last fall surpassing 100 rushing yards in three of his final four games of the season. Over in Oregon today, Former Boise State national champion Emma Bates earned a seventh place finish at the marathon at the World Athletics Championships. Bates runs two hours, 23 minutes, 18 seconds to finish seventh, earning a new PR in the process and helping the U.S. place three runners in the top eight. Big congrats to Emma. We're back with more news after the break.